Hello, this is Jon Kobol from EMD. In this presentation, I will quickly run through the new visual features in WinPro 3.6. First, there's a couple of things for people working with PV plants visualizations. There is in the PV area setup now a new possibility for setting up the substructure. Instead of using a DAE model, you can now simply set up how many legs you want in, in each direction and some other properties on how they should look. And here you can see in a rendered example uh, that it looks uh, quite nice and it's easy to set something up that works well. Seven legs in one direction and two in the other direction. If you have a whole model that contains the table and the substructure in one, it's now made a little easier to set that up so, that, so it works. Um, here in the panel setup, you can now select this and then this model uh, will be uh, used as it is, both for panel and substructure. And it will not be tilted and it will not be stretched. Just this value is used for placing them correctly into the area. So that is nice if you have the whole model in, in one file like this. Then we have a new uh, option here. If you have set up a visual calculation, you can uh, run a result to file and extract information that you have set up here in your visual calculation. So that makes it a lot easier to extract things uh, you want to use in your own reports, for instance. Also, there's a new feature here in uh, the post-processing setup. It is now possible in this window here to edit uh, the values down here. And also you can see that uh, the background image is the rendered image and so you can see where your um, VCGs are placed. So if you want to uh, measure how uh, big a, a, an area that is covered by VCGs, you can very easily measure it here. The SketchUp exporter um, is a separate module in WinPro and it works very well together with Photomontage. Essentially, it can create a lot of things in SketchUp and turn it into 3D objects in WinPro that can be rendered in a photomontage. So the new features here is very useful for photomontage users. Compared with 3.6, there's a lot of new uh, features. There's some here for creating uh, vegetation, fences and transmission lines and buildings and so on. And uh, now I'll just go through the new ones uh, one by one. The vegetation exporter can be used to create different kinds of vegetations. You can create from a list of templates and you can create your own templates. If you want detailed information about this exporter, you can watch this video that is linked here. This is an example where I have created a hedge around a PV area. As you can see, it looks very realistic. Here's another example where I have used a different template. The fence exporter can be used to create different kinds of fences. You can select from a list of predefined templates or you can create your own. To get more information about this exporter, follow this link down here. Here is an example where I have created a fence around a PV area. The transmission line exporter can be used to connect 3D objects with transmission lines. In the setup, it can be defined where the transmission lines should be connected to the 3D object and what the properties of the connection should be. When exported to SketchUp, it would look something like this. And it can from here be exported back to WinPro to be shown in Photomontage. Or inside WinPro, when you export it to SketchUp, you can check this check mark and will be imported in WinPro immediately. So you don't have to go into SketchUp. In Photomontage, it would look something like this. In WinPro 3.6, there's been made a change to the Photomontage exporter. So um, you got this new checkbox where you can actually project the photo on the surface. And what that means is that in front of um, the camera, 
the photo is projected onto the digital elevation model. So it looks a bit weird from a distance, but it has the effect that you can actually move things around directly on the surface and into the photo and get things like the shadows uh, correctly. You can see here if I rotate uh, the VCG, it looks uh, quite nice. Very convenient uh, for this purpose. Another new feature in WinPro 3.6 is the building exporter. With the building exporter, you can export shape files of WinPro objects to buildings. More details about this exporter can be found uh, following this link. When exporting to SketchUp, it would look something like this. And from SketchUp, it can again be re-imported into WinPro and used in a photo montage. Else you can just, when you export it to SketchUp, you can check this checkbox here and it will be re-imported automatically. The Shapefile Exporter is a more general tool to export various shapefiles to SketchUp and put them correctly based on the uh, coordinate system. For instance, uh, I have exported here the, the roads of this city. And uh, you can see here in SketchUp how it is uh, placed correctly in the model. And then you can see, uh, yeah, I use it for various purposes. In this case, I can validate that it's actually going to the correct place into my uh, calibrated photo montage image. But it could be used for many other things, and it could be all sorts of shape files you can export. You can also export point shape files and show them as 3D objects in the model. The DVG slash DXF uh, exporter is just as a kind of helper to the existing importer in SketchUp where you can import uh, such files already. But here you can specify a coordinate system and uh, that way make sure that the, the loaded uh, object is placed correctly into the SketchUp model. So that is very useful in such a case. So that was just a short introduction to the new visual features in WinPro 3.6 and I hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching.